Anisha. To know more about my work, you may visit my website www.tarobyanisha.com. For those of you seeking deeper clarity, be it in your love life or your career, for a personal consultation, you may write to me at tarobyanisha.gmail.com. Sagittarians, we have quite an interesting month. We have Uranus, we have Mercury and Venus and they're all there in a part of your chart that is all about love, romance, creativity and children. However, we also have Mercury who is also there in that part of your house which is retrograde at least for the first five days. Now, it would have given you a time not just to introspect but also pause around areas of this life. You may have found that things have kind of slowed down. So post fifth, it's a great time to be picking up conversations again as far as love is concerned. It's a good time to be um, looking at creative projects. It's a good time to be spending time with children. However, till fifth, try not to buy anything expensive, especially electronics to ensure that your data is backed up and also ensure that your travel tickets are the same destination for which that you have booked them. On the 10th of May we have a full moon and this is there in a part of your chart that is behind the scenes activities. In fact this is a space where we go and recharge our spiritual batteries. It's a good time for research Sagittarians if you've been wanting to start a new business and you've been doing research or even if your current work requires some amount of a research work. This is a time where you could be doing digging for more information and um, supplementing your information as well. Uh, this also full moon is um, it's, it's seeking balance as far as you know your internal, your soul, your self is there. How you feel about yourself from inside and how it is, what is it that you exude outside and what is your... Uh, public persona outside and the balance in between so it's asking you to have that balance between your external and your internal life for some of you you may feel you know that there's a almost like a mask that you put putting up uh, for people and there's some amount of restlessness that's happening inside your soul um, and uh, for some of you you may feel that you know there's more that you can say more you can do but you're unable to express yourself so this entire full moon will be a um, it will be a strife for a balance between the internal and the external we have mercury that is moving into your house of work and the day-to-day -day activities this is happening on the 17th and it is being joined by sun over there and it's quite a lovely position because you'll have um, not just conversations, communication, but I think they may, it, this may have to do with a certain work related uh, issue. Maybe there's something that um, has been bothering you and it could just sort of get highlighted or you will bring it up, uh, you know, to the surface for discussion and it is something that no longer you're quite uh, happy doing or happy plodding along. On the 21st, we have Sun and Mars and they are there in your house of um, partnership and marriage. And we then have a new moon on the 25th and this again is there in your house of marriage and uh, partnership. So quite a lovely time. I think some of you could get uh, hooked up. In fact, this aspect has been there on and off for uh, a lot of you Sagittarians. Um, that a new romance, a new love. In some cases, I think it could be a healing of sort, wherein that maybe in, you know, uh, in actuality, a love of, uh, affair or someone, uh, a love interest may not just appear physically in your life, but it could be that uh, some healing from inside will happen, and it's like a new beginning, a new opening. You'll feel like a new you, or you will be open to um, love as well uh, during this time. We're closing the month with Mars that is squaring Neptune and um, this is uh, again it speaks about partnership and it's asking you not to burn bridges Sagittarians you may have to cross over the same bridges sometime in future so be careful with your speech be careful about what it is that you say it's okay to be angry it's okay to say hurtful things sometimes but um, do remember uh, you know not to burn things to the ground it may cause some irreparable damage this time. It's been a pleasure speaking with you Sagittarians. I'll see you again soon and thank you so much for watching.